Drive-by paintball shootings. The brazen gunslingers are hitting Grand Rapids' west side. Police are still looking for who's responsible. The only suspect information is a silver sedan. And News 8's Heather Walker is learning it's a growing problem across the country now, thanks in part to social media website TikTok. These are the shells from the latest paintball shooting. It may seem harmless, but in one state, it was nearly deadly. Here and here? Yeah, and then there's one over here. Steve Garverlink is the latest victim of these drive-by shootings. He says he was riding his bike yesterday afternoon, turning onto Mount Mercy Drive off of Bridge Street when he was hit coming down the hill. I uh, fell down on the, in the street, and then I kind of just laid there, and I was like, okay, I'm covered in orange paint. That was a paintball gun noise. Yeah. Not a gun. Yeah, not a gun. A few days ago, Florida had a case where someone in a crowd that was targeted thought it was bullets and returned fire with a real gun, hitting a 10-year-old boy behind the paintball gun, sending him to the hospital. These drive-by paintball shootings have been shared on TikTok. A Chicago news station reported on them back in October. And now they're hitting the west side of Grand Rapids. Reports coming in of people getting hit over the weekend and into Monday. A car drove by and hit me with probably six or seven shots with a paintball gun. Probably like 15 feet away too. <laughs> close so, range. Yeah, close range shots. His attack sent him off his bike and caused some welts. But Garvelink knows he was lucky. A wrong fall could have been deadly. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. If you have any information about these incidents, you're asked to call GRPD or Silent Observer. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Heather Walker, News 8.